Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a while since the last video update about my Etherdisk restoration project, but please be assured that this project is still ongoing and hasn't been cancelled, partially because of the festive season and it has uh, taken me a month to get my engine back from the machine shop uh, for the engine balancing, so hence some delays on the videos, apologies on that. In this video, I'm going to talk about the engine balancing process that I did for my car and why I did it despite that the cost is a very significant part of this restoration project. Engine balancing can be performed in various ways, but the method that has been used for my engine is the dynamic balancing method. It involves spinning the engine component at high speed and measuring their vibrations with so what I did is to bring my crankshaft and anything in its rotating axis, such as the pulley, the bolts, the flywheel, the clutch plate to the machine shop, so that they can mount it onto the machine and spin it up to measure the vibration. It is very similar to tire balancing machine that you have seen in shops. The machine will indicate the imbalance of weight in the crankshaft, of which the machinist will then mark it on the crankshaft they will remove the crankshaft and manually drill the crankshaft to remove those weights. This process will be repeated until the crankshaft produces the desired balance. The piston and corn rod are statically balanced where they are placed on a special weighing scale which will tell the weight distribution on the head and the tail of the corn rod. The corn rods will then be shaved so that its weight will be approximately the same as the lightest corn rod within the set of corn rods. A balanced engine will run smoother and it should last longer and perform better in providing maximum performance. An unbalanced engine can cause excessive vibration which will damage the bearings, the, the crankshaft itself and many other parts. If it's not that serious, then it would be just producing a lot of unpleasant vibration and noise. Interesting fact is that BMW balances every M54 B30 out of the factory due to its harmonic vibrations. In my opinion, is that when we buy a stroker kit which includes the piston and corn rod from an M54 B30 that has been unmarked, which means we do not know the sequence of the pistons and corn rod, it is best to redo the engine balancing to avoid any issues, especially when we go on the track. I find this process very interesting and it will be my first time driving a fully built and balanced engine. I hope to see the outcome when the engine is placed into the car and the car is done. I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you guys.